Houston, Texas players made a statement by kneeling in protest to owner Bob McNair's controversial comments. Of course, uh, in a meeting earlier this month among NFL owners to discuss whether or not they should mandate players stand during the anthem, this took place with players. Houston, Texas owner Bob McNair uh, said to fellow owners, we can't have inmates running the prison. Well, that was reported by ESPN. It was immediate backlash. McNair apologized Friday. Some of his players that walked out, uh, DeAndre Hopkins stayed away from practice. Saturday morning, he issued another apology after a meeting with the team. Again, that didn't go over well, according to Dwayne Brown, <laughs> left tackle. Uh, and of course, before the game, uh, nearly all of the black, all of the players kneel, including some, some white players, but only about 10 players uh, stood up. Uh, but Hopkins later told reporters words are not going to stop him from going out on the field and performing. Had the second best game of his career on Sunday with 224 yards receiving. Uh, Dwayne Brown also said that there may be protests also in the future. And quickly on my panel here, uh, you know, on this, the thing that people don't quite understand is that the players initially said they didn't kneel out of respect of, of, of McNair, staunch Republican, mm -hmm. gave a million bucks to Trump's inauguration, was a huge fundraiser for Mitt Romney and John McCain as well. But Dwayne Brown came out and said that in 2008, uh, McNair came out to the locker room, was very ticked off that Obama had won, mm -hmm. and made some comments that ticked off, ticked off the players as well. That hasn't got lots of attention, but this is a t this is a guy. He's got a problem tonight in Houston. Yeah. Uh, black political leaders are going to be meeting there as well, De and they, they've also asked him to attend. Whether he does so, we'll see. He did not go to Seattle for the game, so he is in town. They should shut him down. Yeah. Yeah. These players should shut the team down. I mean. You're out there with your talent making this guy billions of dollars. Fifth most valuable dollars. franchise in the <laughs> right. NFL yeah. at about and, two and a half billion. And you're, you're referred to effectively as a slave on the plantation. And you're supposed to go out and then perform. You know, without you, he has nothing. I mean, you know what, we, we, we always knew what this was about, really. It's not about the flag. It's not about the kneeling. It's about you're not doing what I'm telling you to do. Yeah. That's, That's really what it comes down to. That's been going on since 1619. It. It, it's, they should shut it down. They should the, shut the team down and risk the go ahead. future contract. You know, every movement has their watershed moments. I think this is that moment. This is that moment that where moment. It, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not political, it's now moral. And these players, I think this week, they, they should take, take, that, take that stuff forward and say, look, we're not playing. Hold tight one second. Week days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.